When cutting tile, don't be afraid of the saw. Put some earplugs in, put some goggles on to protect your eyes. The blade itself is coated with diamonds. If touched with soft skin, it's really not going to do anything to you at all. If you were to touch it with your fingernail, being a hard surface like the tile, it could put a nick in your fingernail. So don't be too afraid of the saw, but use caution. When we're cutting a radius out of a tile, all we need to do is establish the radius on some tape. And then simply with the tub saw, we're gonna come in and just cut straight lines in to the radius, as you see here. Once we've gotten this far and we've made multiple cuts coming in, be careful not to, if this is a cut that needs to be seen, we want to be sure that we leave our blade on the inside of this line. If this were like a valve assembly for a shower, we know there's going to be a cover plate that's going to go over this, so it could look a little more jagged. Once we've made multiple cuts coming into this radius, we're now going to go ahead and we're just going to take something like a rub stone or something else, and we're just going to pop them out. It doesn't really matter what you use to pop them out. But what's going to happen is we're going to create kind of a shark's mouth. It'll be all jagged inside. Here again, if it's a clean cut going around a, uh, perhaps a uh, utility drain in a laundry room or something, we want those cuts to be really nice. What we're going to do is as the blade is spinning in, we're going to just simply round the radius to the blade and let the blade grind this radius for us. By using a steady hand, you can make this really nice. Once that's done, just to make it even a little nicer, which we should always have is a rub stone. At least now we can get in and we can file that down in any of the chipped edges. At least we can reduce or minimize the amount of chipping that we have and soften that edge. Here again, if it's a valve assembly and we know it's gonna be covered, it's not worth the extra time to do all the pretty cuts if it's gonna be covered anyhow. When you're dealing with some sort of a profile, whether it's a pencil or it's a Barnes or a chair rail, this, per, this happens to be a Barnes, uh, what we want to do is we want to do an inside miter for any of our inside corners. If you're doing a countertop uh, or an outside wall, we don't want to stack them because naturally that profile doesn't look very nice. So what we want to do is we want to do an outside miter and miter to the edge. So we talked about mitering for an inside corner, we talked about a miter for an outside corner. There's a third miter involved which is called a picture frame miter. And here, just like a picture frame, we're going to go ahead and miter these pieces here 
and here to create a nice picture frame. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how to put a hole into our tile, perhaps around a, uh, a shower head or something like that. With this type of bit, what we want to do is we want to come in at an angle and we want to get a little bite into the tile so that it'll steady our drill bit. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and lean into a more of a vertical fashion and then start making that plunge cut. The two ways that we're going to talk about doing a, a hole cut out would be number one, we can use a hole saw on a drill and we can make multiple plunge cuts with this hole saw in a, in a circular fashion and then knocking them out and then using a nippers to then clean up the edges. Remember guys, this is going to be covered by a cover plate or by a toilet. This could look like a shark's mouth for all we care. So don't waste too much time trying to make it perfect. Another way to cut this circle out is a little more aggressive way, perhaps not the safest way, uh, but we can always use a four inch grinder, uh, a diamond wheel, and put it on a grinder, a handheld angle grinder. By doing that, oftentimes we're gonna make a stop sign around this hole make plunge cuts until you see a little daylight in, in all the, the angles of the stop sign. And then what we do is we turn, slide the, the safety blade uh, cover back and most often we're now coming in under the tile and making our finished cuts on the bottom of the tile.